guess where we are? We are at my main competitor's door. Bill Plimpton Studios, 10005. No solicitors. Is that me? No, I think I'm okay. So let's go inside and see what Bill Plimpton has to say for himself. So how do you finance your films? Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, I don't take government grants. I don't take corporate money. Why not? Uh, because it's a real pain in the butt to, to fill out those forms and you got to kind of kowtow to what they're looking for, you know, if, it's, if they want to do something that's, that's politically correct or it's very soft and nurturing. I don't do those kind of films. I don't want to do those kind of films. So I prefer to just make my own films and, and, and finance them myself. And the first time I realized this was when I did Your Face. Mm. And this was my first film. It was about three minutes long. It came out in 1986. And I went to this festival in Annecy, this uh, France, France Animation Festival. And they showed the film and people laughed. People really liked the film a lot. Uh, and so right after the screening, I got these people coming up to me saying, you know, I represent uh, Candle Plus in Spain. We'd like to show this film on our channel. I said, oh, that's nice. Um, is four thousand dollars acceptable to you? I said, Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> I didn't even expect money. I almost was ready to give it away, you know, because hey, I get to be in Spain. And so all these people came up to me offering money, MTV and the Tournay of Animation and Spike and Mike, and and so I, it's just by accident that I realized that there was money to be made in animation. I didn't know the business. I didn't know how other people survived. I found out later that most of them were uh, through government grants arts grants, mm. things like that, funding. And um, I realized that uh, the money I made from the, your face would finance my next film. Mm. And that film was 25 Ways to Quit Smoking. That was even a bigger, bigger success. It was all over the world. And so right at the beginning, I was able to finance the film from uh, the sales of the previous film. So I kind of leapfrogged mm. uh, my way through uh, to features. You know, what Bill does is impossible for anybody else to do, mm -hmm. and I don't I know for what reason is that. Mm -hmm. um, he's lucky, mm -hmm. and he works hard, he ro works extremely hard, I can't work like that. Okay. I don't work that hard. And, I don't know, it's just like he knows how to tap into people's fantasies. He said that each, like he made the first film, and then each new film builds Yes. money for his next film yes. you know for me it's just opposite every film that I make yeah. is a big money sucking hole which will never have returns never will happen oh no yeah okay well, but you're still making films so it's somehow it's been working out barely <laughs> yeah no but it's it's you know you do what you have to do and each project is very very different right you uh, you know, adjust to whatever circumstances are given to you. Okay. Then the commercials came in. The commercials were unbelievable. I mean, they were they were throwing money around that I've never dreamed of, and I, those have stopped. I, I, for, in the '90s, I was sort of the the flavor of the month or the flavor of the year. The decade, no. Yeah, the decade. <laughs> it lasts about four or five years, oh. and, and uh, I, I foolishly spent the money on some live action films that were complete flops. Uh, they didn't work at all. And then uh, in the late 90s, I realized I should stick with animation. Well, unlike Bill Plimpton, I don't get any commercial work. Any? Uh, uh, zero. Wow. Like people come to me, like mm -hmm. uh, almost every week I get an email from somebody saying, Signe, I love your work. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, could you work on my film? Like do like um, interstitches or stitches into my film. Okay. Can you do like this and this? And everything is for free, of course. Oh. Or like people come to me and say, I love your style. I have a great script. Can you animate it for me for oh. free? What? Yeah. And, and I'm like, well, I have hundreds of books on my own in my head uh -huh. that I want to animate. And since you're not offering me any money, I can't take the job. Right. So I don't know. That's how it works. But when they do offer you money, do you also not take the job? They never happen. 
What, really? Yeah, they, they want, for me, when they look at me, yeah. they look at my style and they say, oh, stuff for free. <laughs> Oh, okay. When they look at Bill Clinton drawings, they say, oh, the guy costs 600 an hour. <laughs> huh. I don't know how much Bill charges. Okay. I okay. have no idea. And again, I mean, now, like I got my studio, it's got like six people in here working away. And uh, that's, I like it like that. I like a nice little boutique studio doing the films that I want to do. There's no deadline, there's no producer saying you can't do that, you have to change that. So so your refinancing, your money for your film comes from films that you made before? Yeah, the so sales. So they push forward, like, so everything from the past comes into the future. And it's cumulative too, yeah. I'm still making money on your face, I'm still mm -hmm. making money on 25 Ways to Quit Smoking. In fact, we're, we're working on a big deal now for the internet, to mm -hmm. sell all my films mm -hmm. uh, for the internet. So it's uh, the the bigger your library, mm -hmm. and you know this. Yeah. You can put out DVDs, and you can sell them to the internet and television. The bigger the library, the more more money you will mm -hmm. get. Mm -hmm.